If you have been thinking about moving to or within the state of Massachusetts and wondering about which suburb you might want to settle down in, then definitely stick around because that's what I'm about to talk about on this video. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather. I'm a realtor here in the state of Massachusetts with Next Home Signature Realty. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about living in the town of Millis, Massachusetts. So Millis is located in Norfolk County and it has a population of about 8,400 people. And the average price you can expect to spend on a home in Millis is gonna be between 650 and 700,000. And currently at the time that I'm making this video, there are four single family homes actively listed for sale. If you were planning to purchase in Millis and wanting to commute into the city of Boston, you are looking at about a 45 minute uh, drive into the city of about 25 to 30 miles. Um, of course, give or take, depending on traffic, uh, that will impact your commute time, depending on the time of day that you're uh, commuting into the city. And if you wanted to take a train into the city of Boston, um, there's not a there is not a train station in the town of Millis, so you'd have to go to one of the neighboring towns. Um, I would probably think that Norfolk is probably the closest uh, neighboring town that would have a train station, um, so that you could get into the city of Boston by train. So um, that brings me to the bordering towns. So Millis is bordered by Norfolk, Sh Sherborne, Holliston, Medfield, and Medway. The uh, school systems in Millis are very highly rated, really great schools. They have, um, they only have one elementary school in the town, as well as one middle school and one high school. And um, for the attractions in Millis, uh, some fun things to do there. Uh, one of my personal favorites is uh, Ryan Family Amusements. Um, there are a couple other locations of Ryan Family Amusements, but this one is the one that's obviously located in Millis. And um, it's the only one that I've actually been to personally, uh, but it's a lot of fun. It is a candle pin style bowling alley, and they also have an arcade. So definitely a really fun spot to, uh, to take kids or even just for adults to go and enjoy, enjoy some bowling and some arcade games. And um, another one that I love in Millis is Tangerini's Farm. So they have um, a farm stand there with fresh produce and then as well as um, a, a time of year where you can do like a you pick your own. Um, I know they have like you pick your own sunflowers and they also have like a wildflower field there too. So uh, really, it's really beautiful. It's definitely a beautiful spot to check out. And uh, during the summer months, they also have an ice cream stand there as well. So definitely something uh, worth checking out. And um, they actually also have a restaurant. So that's gonna lead me to my next category, uh, restaurants in Millis. Um, so the Farmer's Porch is the restaurant that's at Tangerini's Farm. So it's a, during the summer you can sit outside on the porch um, and they have like a seasonal menu um, all throughout the year, a seasonal menu and um, they serve breakfast and lunch. So it's just a really nice place to, to check out, especially in the warmer months when you can sit outside. Um, I personally love outdoor dining, so it's just a really, uh, just really beautiful to be in a farm setting and um, the food is amazing as well. Some of the other ones in Millis are uh, Primavera, which is an Italian restaurant, uh, very, very good Italian food. And they also uh, have weddings there as well as you could um, you know, rent it out for any sort of event. If it was like a bridal shower, baby shower, corporate gathering, anything like that. They also have a section for that as well. Um, but just even the restaurant, the Italian side of the restaurant, very, very good. Um, and then the last one that I'll mention is a Victory Lane Bar and Grill. Um, very good food, it's like pub food, very casual, but uh, kind of something on the menu for everybody. Um, just a cool spot to go you know, watch the game or just meet with friends or, it, and it's also family friendly. They have um, just, you know, something on the menu for everyone. So definitely worth checking that one out as well. Um, and that's gonna do it for me today. Um, if you have any questions about moving to or within the state of Massachusetts, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you're notified when I post my next video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic day.